What are some of the worst business practices you've seen? Mystery of stuff. Hostility towards raises. Rewarding your existing employees is almost always cheaper than hiring new. I've had a manager that scoffed at a single 3% raise for someone who had no raise for five years. Good luck hiring a new person with that experience and for less money. There's a reason why job hopping gets you more money, and it's not because hiring new is cheaper. I briefly worked at a FedEx shipping center. The first hour of orientation was basically, if you even think the word union will end your fucking bloodline. In the there ought to be a law category, free trials that require a credit card, and which do not auto-expire. Ridiculous. It's a transparent bait and switch. If you don't think they will buy it for the advertised price after a free trial then maybe try something more honest? Like metered service? Any company, service that allows you to sign up using the internet with minimal verification, but requires you to either produce ID, bills, proof of address, or show up in person to cancel that service. If I can set it up via the internet, I should be able to cancel using the internet too. I spent 45 minutes on the phone with Vonage to cancel. I repeatedly told the rep I'd been satisfied with the service. I just wasn't using it anymore. It still took way too long to cancel. Sign up was a simple internet transaction. Trying to get employees to quit. My managers at fast food didn't want to keep long-term employees due to having to pay them more and firing them means unemployment costs. Us quitting means no unemployment and not having to give raises. I used to serve at a restaurant where we wore pagers that buzzed us when a table's food was ready. Good idea, right? Well, the owners had the policy that you had to immediately go pick up the food no matter what, and that included if you were in the middle of taking another table's order. They said that people understand and are cool with it. Of course they weren't though. Every time I stopped taking a table's order and went and got the food, they were totally pissed off. I could not believe the owners did not understand why literally no other restaurant on the planet does it that way. I worked in a small boutique hotel with a fine dining restaurant and a gastropub connected. You had to juggle service and reception all the time. Our hotel director felt it would be appropriate for us to wear a headset to answer calls for the hotel, while serving to make sure we didn't lose out on any room sales, stating that the customer would be understand as long as we excused ourselves. And here we have some locally sourced braised lamb, served with vegetables grown at a farm located just north. Excuse me for a minute while I answer this call. I worked at a restaurant that wouldn't let people get a refund on their food even though there was a cockroach in it. Instead they offered a 10% discount on the food as per their policy. Needless to say this restaurant no longer exists. In the short time I worked there, it happened four times on my shift and several others when I wasn't working. Owners did very little in the way of maintenance. It wasn't in a good location and the customers weren't rich by any means. I guess they just got lucky until they served a roach to the wrong person. TBHIDK the exact reason they shut down. I heard this one from a friend, she worked at a dog kenneling business that would tour prospective clients through the front of the building and show off how each dog would get its own indoor-outdoor run area and specialized attention, etc. Then when Thanksgiving and Christmas came, and they got more bookings than they could accommodate, they set up cages and stacked kennels in a back room and people were paying big dollars thinking that their dogs were in a nice roomy pen while the business crammed as many dogs as they could into these basic cages. It was shameful. I use the term business loosely, but I once did graduate research with a professor who was in the process of trying to get a major auto manufacturer to invest in our lab. They liked us, but wanted an example of some of our work. So rather than directing them to some publications of ours, my professor gave them a zip file containing all of our recent unpublished research, including the basis for a patent application. My professor was shocked when they just kept it. Major banks sorting your transactions when you have a low balance in such a way to maximize overdraft fees. Honestly, overdraft fees in general. 
Many banks will charge you an overdraft and deny the transaction. Because apparently it costs them $35 to deny a transaction. I worked for a big car rental company in the returns department. They would push us to find and charge customers for any new damage on their cars by awarding bonuses on top of our monthly salary. We were given mirrors to look for scratches under the cars where customers would normally not have checked before they rented the car, often leading to heated arguments over if it really was their fault or not. The company did not care either way and made us charge their insurance deposit if they refused to pay. The daily verbal abuse and stress from being sandwiched between my managers and angry customers has definitely left a mark on my mental health, and I will probably never work in the traveling industry again. In the town I grew up there was this guy who ran a music store. The kind that sells musical instruments. He would sell brand new stuff at 50-60% to 60 discount, hell a friend of mine haggled a brand new Gibson guitar off the shelf for maybe 75% off. I bought several cymbals off him dirt cheap. For you drummers out there, Sabian AA, not crap. Turns out, his family was filthy rich, old money and running the store was his hobby, you know just something to do. He would sit there, smoke, discuss which Zappa record was the best, and basically give stuff away. It was awesome. And terrible business. Mystery of Stuff